we're going to go ahead and rebuild this Honeywell zone valve uh, valve body. I'm just going to go ahead and take off the cover. I'm going to remove this power head. Okay, you're going to want to make sure that you've isolated off the lines going to the zone valve. Um, I got the supply and the return shut off. Now what I'm going to do is put a bag to catch any fluid. I'm going to loosen up these screws here and um, drain off any fluid. This should catch any fluid as it drips out into this bag. I'm not expecting much fluid at all. So I'm not going to take the screws all the way out, I'm just going to loosen each one of them just to break the gasket loose. That way the whole valve doesn't pop off and then I just dump a bunch of fluid everywhere. I can do this a little more controlled. Now what I normally do is just stick this same nut driver right onto the valve stem and then just twist it back and forth. So you got a little bit of fluid, not much at all. Now I can go ahead and take out the rest of the screws and I shouldn't have any more fluid come out. Now one thing you're going to want to pay attention to on this valve, the, there's two indentations on the back side here and there's one in the front. You want to make sure that that valve stem is offset in the same direction when you put the new one on, the same way. I can just take this off. Then I'm going to take out this old gasket. Next I'm going to do a take a wire brush to the face of the valve. Go ahead and clean it up. Go ahead and take this bag down. So this valve here is a V8043 and this rebuild kit is for a V8043 and a V4043. So what's included in this, I'm going to have a new valve, new gasket and new screws. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stick this o-ring back into the groove here. It's very important you get it to stay in the groove, sometimes it takes a second to get it all the way around to hold in place. So now, remember I told you that one side of the valve has two dimples and the other side has one. You can't see it here on the top, but you can see it on the bottom. It's very important that these two dimples here go into the right side, it has a dimple there and above it. And then there's only one over here on the other side. So then I just set this in place Just hold it with one hand. You'll notice one screw is smaller than the other at the base. And um, the valve body, as you can tell, one is larger at the top and one is larger, smaller at the bottom. The other one is, is opposite. Make sure that you get the big one in the big spot and the small one in the small spot. Tighten them up across from each other like a star pattern. This valve should spin free, nice and easy. Now we're going to put the power head back on. Now this is a normally closed valve. So if you look into the valve, you want to line up the valve stem with the power head. And um, if it doesn't quite line up, you can manually open the valve and turn it. And then you can get it to sit um, right on it. And that's how you uh, rebuild a Honeywell zone valve, valve body. All I have left is to go ahead and open up the valves, make sure I don't have any leaks, and then I can test um, the system with the thermostat. 
So thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And um, please stay tuned to more videos. And don't forget to subscribe. And smash the like button if you like it.